Andy of Corn More Health and Fitness, and today I want to talk to you about beef. I know there's a lot of people into health out there that are vegans and vegetarians, and I think that's wonderful because I truly do believe that everybody's individual and what might work for me might not work for you. But that being said, I am licensed in metabolic typing and I'm a big believer, like I said earlier, that each person needs a different diet to survive. I happen to be the kind of person that needs more protein in my diet um, and I choose beef. But I choose grass-fed beef for many, many reasons. And I wanted to share some of those with you today because I think a lot of people are not educated in the difference of a hamburger is not a hamburger, kind of the way a calorie is not a calorie. So let's start with the difference. First of all, a cow has what they call a ruminant stomach, which means it's only meant to digest grass. When it eats materials other than grass, those cows get sick, and that's why they're fed and pumped up with a lot of antibiotics. They're also pumped up with hormones because now cattle are being brought to slaughter in half the time it used to be. So a baby calf can grow to full size, like I said, in half the time that an analogy would be your child growing to a teenager. Your child would technically be a teenager at six and a half, seven years old. That's what's happening to the cows. They're sick. They're, it's not natural to be made that big that fast. It's not in their DNA, just like it wouldn't be in your DNA. And when you eat that cow, you're putting all of that into your DNA. So here's the difference. Grass-fed beef, they're fed grass. The cows are actually rotated with the feeds, with the pastures, and they're fed grass all the time. There's two ways to look at grass-fed beef. There's grass-fed finished, which is better than all grain-fed, but still not ideal. What you want to look for is 100% grass-fed beef. So where I live, there's a Whole Foods, a local Whole Foods, and they now tell you exactly how much grass is fed. So this one, and again, I know it comes up backwards, but it says on it 100% grass-fed beef, and they rated a number four, meaning it was pasture-centered, and they know what farm it was on. It wasn't moved around and, and thousands of different cows making it for the most part. Their best rating is a five. Their worst rating is a one. So some of the benefits of grass-fed beef, when a cow is eating the way it should be, its natural diet and its natural habitat, the way you would want to do for yourself, they have a lower fat content, a healthier fat content. They have what you call a higher CLA content, which actually has been shown to have be a potential cancer fighter. The beef has higher vitamin E, higher vitamin B in the thiamine and riboflavin categories. It has higher minerals, such as calcium, magnesium, potassium. It has a higher ratio of omega-3s, a higher level of omega-3s, and a better ratio of omega-6 to omega-3s. Omega-3s are what they call your healthier omegas. Omega-6 are your not as healthy omegas, and we are overloaded on omega-6 and 9 compared to 3s. So this helps balance it out for you, the way closer to what it should be. The meat is also lower in saturated fats that cause heart disease, and here's why. If a cow is eating an unnatural diet, as I said before, whether it's corn or grain or soy, anything that cow can't digest or, or can't absorb the nutrition or is not natural to the cow is stored in fat, just like with a human. So if you're eating a lot of artificial ingredients, those are what are stored in fat because it's kept away from your organs, away from your survival mechanism. Same thing with the cow. All the garbage is pulled away into the fat because it's to toxic. It's stored there for a long time until you eat it or somehow it gets released. But in a conventional cow, I, I would tend to say that doesn't really happen. Therefore, when you're eating a grass-fed cow, which has been fed on pasture grass its entire life, its fat is not toxic. Its fat is actually good for you to eat, and that's where those higher CLAs are coming from and some of the other things I was speaking about earlier. But in the conventional, that saturated fat is poison, it's toxic, it's dangerous, and you want to stay away. Here's, again, some more reasons why. What they're putting in the feed of conventional cows, you, you wouldn't feed your dog, you wouldn't feed your cat, you probably wouldn't even feed a snake if you had a heart. 
those cows are being fed, as I said, corn, which is mostly genetically modified, soy, and grain, which A, they can't digest, so it's making them sick. They're also approved to be fed what they call reprocessed garbage, if you want to call it that. And that could be um, anything from newspaper to cardboard, um, old animal manure, just all mixed in there. It, it's disgusting, and it's actually a common practice, and it's known by the government. Nobody's stopping it. They're allowed to feed the cows that. And again, in turn, you're eating that. So really, it's so important that you're aware of where your meat comes from if you're going to choose to eat meat. Some of the best sources of grass-fed beef are finding 100% grass-fed beef at your store or trying buffalo. And I'll be really honest with you. When I first found out about the option of buffalo or bison, I wasn't too keen on it. And it took me over a year to try it. And once I did, I said, I'm just going to go for it. Because if I'm talking about it and I'm learning about it and I'm going to recommend it to people that I work with, I better damn well try it myself. So I did. I tried it in a burger. And I have to tell you, it was amazing. This is about four years ago. And then I went out and I said, I'm going to give it to my family. But I did not tell them because I figured they'd be as freaked out as I was. And I gave it to them. And they actually said, this is the best burger I've ever had. That's how good it tastes. Until someone in my family saw the markings for it and decided they were never going to eat it again. But that time passed and he eats it again and they love it. I'll make bison strip steaks, bison ribeye, and bison burgers. Again, high CLA, grass-fed, much healthier for you than a conventional burger. So what I do is I'm happy. I love to go out. I like, like to be with my friends, socialize, eat at restaurants. If people choose to eat the conventional grass-fed, quote-unquote, marbleized beef, I would never say a word. But personally, I choose not to eat it unless I'm making it at home and I know where it comes from or I'm at a restaurant that serves 100% grass-fed beef. And don't be afraid to ask. It's your right to know what you're eating and what you're putting in your body because everything you're putting in your body is making up your new cells, your bone, your blood. So that was great. I'm glad you spent a little bit of time with me. Go out and get that grass-fed beef, however you like it, and enjoy. And I'll see you.